And we're expecting an intense battle in the front court tonight, Grant. Both teams with a lot of talent in those positions. You know, B.A., it'll be an interesting matchup here with the talent and size of their front court. It should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They'll have to get a little creative. A look at the 76ers starting group. Tyrese Maxey is out there with James Harden. Then it's Joel Embiid. Then it's MP. And it's Harris in at the three. MP announced as the NBA Player of the Week. What an honor. It is, and, and I must say, a very deserving selection. MP had a great week, and he hopes that play continues tonight. Pass to Beal. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Morris. That one is off, and it's Philadelphia the other way. Their last encounter was in Philadelphia. This time around, they're looking for better execution offensively. They have to avoid mistakes. And it really was the turnovers that fueled the blowout. I mean, a lot of questionable, poor decisions by them with the ball. And when that happens, you can get blasted. You know, the Wizards really came up short last season on the defensive end. They consistently struggled to get stops, which makes it twice as hard to win games. I just wonder how the Wizards can remedy their defensive weaknesses from last year. Well, B.A., mindset is a big part of it. They just need to have better focus on pressuring the ball handlers and making sure shots are getting well contested. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First person. Got to be cautious guarding Beal because he's skilled at drawing contact while the shooting. Line for Washington. And so he hits both. And Bradley Beal getting a huge contract this summer. Now, he committed to being with the Wizards for his prime. And there was some speculation he might leave, but he cemented his time in Washington for many years to come. Now here's Harden in the game against New York. Very impressive. Step back shot. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First personal foul. And the improvement second of Tyrese Maxey's three-point shot from his Shooting first season to second year. Just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. Down low. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Big man throwing it down. Kristaps Porzingis when you're 7-3, though. Doesn't take much vertical to punch it home. Now here's MP coming off an unbelievable high-scoring game. 13 feet out. The bank shot, no good. And for a player with the speed and quickness of Maxi, Grant leveling up that three-point shot changes everything for him. Oh, so true, B.A. It becomes pick your poison with him. And it put him in a conversation last year for most improved player. And so here is Philadelphia following the bucket by the Wizards. Controls the rebound and the putback. I know it's a tall task, but you got to box out Embiid. It's really that simple because if you don't, he's going to make you pay. Beal left side. 76ers foul. Ron Stadler. First personal foul. Second team foul. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. For Philadelphia, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Pass to Embiid. Cash. It's Embiid picking up the assist. Embiid's got his second bucket on the night. Powerful move by Embiid right there. He makes beating the defense look easy. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Harris misses. Washington trailing. Right side, Porzingis. Kuzma outside. The Wizards with another miss. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of six from the floor. Harris passes to MP. Kuzma against Harris. A shot from the high post. And Gonzalez gets it to go. Yeah, that's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. 
Outside for Zingas. Over MP. Five to shoot. That one's wide left. Very surprising that he came away empty there, especially given room to operate. Harden, the pass to Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. This is well, Harden's got such James a tremendous Harden. feel for the game. Sees the whole court. Time out on the floor. He's a really Three slick nine. creator. Washington calls timeout. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. And for the Wizards, they're shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982, Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about his historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. Embiid, a pass to Harden. to Embiid. Yes! And a nice assist from Harden. Embiid's got eight. Coming out hot. Four out of five. This could be a big game for him. Morris passes to Kuzma. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. One of the trickier plays to judge. But it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Tyrese uh, this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Kuzma outside. Pass to Beal. Over Maxi. They get the rebound. That's what you need your bigs to do. Step up and control the defensive glass. Let's a floater go. Another shot. Gonzalez misses. Washington has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Here's Beal. That one falls. He's now one for three. Such a tough guard. I mean, Beal mixing it up inside, coming out on top in that battle. The Sixers leading. Harden finds MP. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. Here's Gonzalez. An effective score for them. Scoring around 21 and a half points a game. Here's Morris. Pass to Gafford. That's tipped. Six on the shot clock. Back to Morris. The three is up. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. And most of the arena was totally against them. But they looked inward, trusted each other, and made good plays. Well, you know, the cohesiveness was evident out there. These guys feel like they can win in any arena. And they proved it that game. Now here's MP. He's got five. Back to Harden. Oh, there's the shot clock violation. So they'll turn it over. Kispert checked in for Gaffer. Substitution on the court. And Washington with possession. Seven-point differential. Timeout called. The Wizards. This game coming after the loss versus the Kings. It really just wasn't a fun game for them. Their offense looked stagnant, and they couldn't get anything going. Yeah, they had no answer for them. They simply got outplayed and outworked. Washington making some changes. Avdia comes in for Kuzma, and Goodwin is subbed in for Morris. And he's going for the lob! And a slam dunk by Porzingis. Boy, what an athlete this Porzingis kid is, man. I tell you, you put the rock anywhere near him, and he's going to throw it down. Back to MP. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Beal. That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. Pass to Kispert. Here's 
is Avdia. Beal outside. Five on the clock. Back to Avdia. Let's it go from deep. Drains the triple. Slick feed by Beal. Taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. Here's Gonzalez. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. MP's got seven points. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. Pass to Kispert. And stolen by Melton. Milton for three. They grab their own miss. And so it looks like it'll be Philadelphia ball. Hey, with that limp, Porzingis. And here are the Sixers now. They lead by four. Morris and Beal are the backcourt pair. Kyle Kuzma out there with Denny Avdia. And it's Gafford in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Wizards. Gonzalez misses. Washington's gone three of six from deep so far. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Harden against Gafford. Tipped! And he's able to get it back. And the Wizards on the break. Here's Avdia. Doesn't go for him. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. <laughs> Woo! His energy is unmatched. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Free throw drops for Beal. The 76ers shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Knicks was outstanding. He finished with 47 points, and it was his highest point total of the season. Monster production. He was focused. He was relentless. Everyone is still buzzing about it. Guys? Okay, Allie, thanks. Well, that was an incredible night for him. They rode him to that win. And he was more than happy to carry them, B.A. He might still be feeding off that performance heading into this one. Yeah, you know, all indications are that he feels good coming into this one. Feels confident that he can build on that prior success. Started out strong from three-point land. Hit two in the first quarter, but he's gone dry since. Out to Harris. MP against Morris. Harris passes to MP. Six to shoot. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. Fades and shoots. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. The Wizards have gotten only one of four shots to go in. Morris on the wing. 14 points for him. Last game against Sacramento. To the inside. That one falls. Coming off Beal's feed. Morris has gotten his first bucket of the night. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Harden from outside. It's hauled in by Beal. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Kuzma, the pass to Beal. And here's Gafford. Pass to Morris. Now here's Beal. with another bucket. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Maxi passes to MP. Harris outside. Back to MP. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Out of bounds. It'll be Sixers ball. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Such great timing. Defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. 
Now here's MP. He's got nine. Here's Harden. It doesn't go for him. Nice D from Gafford. On the wing, Kuzma. The three ball. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. And Tyrese Maxey gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. Now here's Morris. Giving this team some energy. Averaging a little over 10 points a game. Beal against Maxi. Let's it go from 14. Here's Embiid. Kicks it out to MP. Launches it. And another miss by Philadelphia. The Wizards for the lead. Here's Kuzma. And again, Washington, no good. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Back to MP. And MP throws it down. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. I'll tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Now here's Kuzma. You know, his stats have been solid, averaging around 18 and a half points a game. And the lead just keeps changing hands. Five times already, and we still haven't gotten out of the first half. And Philadelphia calls time here. We've seen the pace of the game ratchet up every year, Clark. Might that trend reverse at some point? I don't think so, B. I mean, the game is meant to be played fast because of the potency of the three-point shot, the skill level of the players, the athleticism. I think you're going to continue to see teams play with a lot of pace because that's easier in terms of producing points. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. So it'll be James Harden shooting. That one's on Monte Morris. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the 76ers. I must say, their defensive intensity has been impressive so far. Really making it hard for the offense to hold on to the ball. Hey, I know analytics shuns the mid-range game, but I tell you what, these guys have the shooters that can knock them down, and they're making it pay tonight. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Beal outside. Morris for three. And it's Harden who pulls down the rebound. And for the 76ers, they're shooting 41% in this game. The drive by MP. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. Porzingis has checked in for Washington. Coming onto the floor for your wizard, Kristaps Porzingis. Now Morris. Baseline J is on the way, and it comes off the front of the rim. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Outside Harden. Harris on the wing. Pass to Gonzalez. Back to Harris. Now MP. Defended by Porzingis. Shot clock at 5. Now here's Maxi. Harris outside. And another miss by Philadelphia. Porzingis passes to Morris. Poked loose. Stolen by MP. Maxi with it. Beal picks him up. And it's Maxi missing. And the Wizards shooting a solid 47%. Morris finds Kuzma. Porzingis with it. Hounded by Harris. Puts it up from 15. No good off the back of the rim. Maxi passes to MP. There's the drive. Washington with a rebound. Kuzma's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Beal. Here's Morris. Embiid covers. Morris can't hit. 
You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. MP, the pass to Maxi. Right side, Harden. And the foul called on Kristaps Porzingis. Porzingis. That's foul number two for him. That's his second foul of the first half. Not a big deal yet. But something to keep an eye on. Kispert's checked in for Kuzma. Reed's checked in for the Sixers. Milton comes in for Harris. Philadelphia calls timeout. Failing to find a rhythm offensive. for opportunities leading to nine points in the quarter. Then after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. How about Bradley Beal having a dominant impact in this game? Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And on the floor for Doc Rivers as we get into the second half. James Harden out there with Maxi. Then there's Tobias Harris. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's MP in at the four-man position. Here's Gonzalez. <laughs> And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Daniel Gafford picks one up. Good man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Wizards shooting around 50% of the game so far. I don't think there's any question. The Sixers made the biggest trade of last season, sending a huge package to the Nets and getting James Harden in return. The Sixers trailing. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, Joel and B. Drawing comparisons to some legendary big men. He said, quote, I want to be mentioned as one of the greats. That's my point. And obviously being a Hall of Famer. But you've got to take step by step, one day at a time. It's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing to put it in, guys. Now he's well on his way, Allie. Thanks. And Clark in that Philly Brooklyn trade. There were five players and two first round draft picks involved. And BA, they were big time players Philly gave up. Simmons, Drummond, Seth Curry. But when you're playing for a title, Wizards you can add James Harden. I think you've got to take that chance. This is really amazing. I mean, from March 1st, 2014 to October 26, 2016, Joel Embiid didn't play in a basketball game. 31 long months rehabbing back and foot in. Beal finds Gafford. Kuzma with the ball. Charity stripe shot. And it looks like we've got an injury on the floor. Very unfortunate as always, guys. Don't like to see this. Yeah, so First tough. I mean, guys, down. I feel bad for him and the whole team. I hope it's not as bad as it looks. Paul yeah, absolutely. Lee. Of course, this is why you build out your depth as best you can. I mean, you just never know when injuries might show up. And the 76ers making a change here. Reed's checked in. Here's Morris. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Third I'll give Philadelphia credit. Second they didn't rush him back. back. They, in fact, That's trusted the, the process. Wizards. Pun intended, folks. And Joel has returned the favor. An MVP caliber center who changes a franchise. He is a franchise Wizards cornerstone back. piece. A great example of how being patient and doing what's best for the player ends up being a winning combination for all. Sixers. Run seven. Taking two shots. Free throw good. MP. Both good from the line that time. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. Kuzma outside. Pass to Gafford. Peel outside. Shoots over Maxi. 
The Wizards with another miss. And for Philadelphia, they're shooting 40% from the field in this one. Back to MP. And MP throws it down. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Pass to Kuzma from outside the arc. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And just unable to get anything going tonight. I mean, his teammates have really bailed him out. Harris misses. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Beal against Maxi. Puts up the eight-footer. Oh, MP with a block. Harris passes to MP. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Harris has got his third assist of the night. And what a wild one this has been. Eight lead changes, some big plays, and some big mistakes, too. Here's Beal. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Hey, look at this. This summer, a five-year extension for Bradley Beal. One of the richest contracts in NBA history. Over $240 million. He's off on the second, and he's certainly elite. But does it surprise you that Bradley Beal has one of the biggest contracts in the NBA, Grant? And that's just how it works. I mean, give it a few years, and all the stars will be paid the same. That said, <laughs> it must be Game nice. Those are some big jets. They've now had assists on each of their last three buckets. Outstanding triple drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, B.A., I mean, that's such a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration from him. Here's Gafford. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Second personal foul. That free throw good from Gafford. And the Wizards making a change here. Avdias checked in. Both free throws good from Gafford. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Here's Harden. Here's the second effort. Blocked! And he gets it back. Count that one. James Harden. Washington has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Morris passes to Gafford. Now here's Kuzma, pounded by Harris. Pass to Avdia. Gonzalez pulls it in. MP's got rebound number seven tonight. For three, Maxi. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got his fourth assist with that last one. Washington trailing. Beal outside. Morris passes to Beal. It's Avdia on the wing. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. And he can take over in a nanosecond. And once he catches fire, it's difficult to squelch it. Pass to Harden. To the paint. Here's Reed. Nice D from Gafford. Pretty even game going on here in D.C. And after this one, they're at home against Phoenix. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. These teams just keep trading the lead. Yeah, you wonder what it's going to take for someone to pull away. Up top, Harden. And Harden gets the double team. For three, Maxi nails it from beyond the arc. Maxi's got six here in the quarter. And in the second half here, they're shooting a terrific percentage from three. No question about it. They found a nice rhythm from deep. Beal outside. Back to Morris. Fires from deep. Sends it home from three-point land. Morris has got seven. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Maxi passes to MP. 
Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Washington. We have to like what you've seen from them defensively. They've done well contesting shots and have managed to come away with some blocks, too. And, you know, on top of that, second chance points have been a major component for them. And I love the relentlessness they've shown on the offensive glass. Here's Beal. Gonzalez pulls it in. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. Here's Reed. And it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. That one off Gafford. Philadelphia ball. Harden, the pass to Maxi. Here's Gonzalez. Got it again. That makes him 8 for 15 for the night. You know, throughout this quarter, guys, they've had no answer for him defensively. And he's been absolutely relentless. Here's Optia. He's got 17. Morris for three. And the Wizards with another three. You know what? This game has been fun to watch. Both teams exchanging heavyweight blows. Extremely competitive, partner. No question about it. Good stuff here. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he was one step late that time. Kispert's checked in for Kuzma. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Milton has checked in. And it's 6'9", Denny Avdia with great size for a wing grant. Yeah, B.A., can you combine that with his motor, too? I mean, he's already an excellent defender with the versatility to cover Very inside and out. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. For Philadelphia, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. Outside Milton. Pass to Gonzalez. He was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Second personal foul. Daniel Gafford picks one up, and he can't get the first one. Nunn's checked in for Washington. The 76ers making a switch here, and he's good on the second. So it's Washington now. It's a one-point game. Morris passes to Nunn. Here's Kispert, checked by Tucker. That's four fouls for him tonight. He needs to pick his battles wisely going forward. That free throw good for Morris. Well, the 76ers shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Morris and Beal are the backcourt pair. Daniel Gafford is out there with Kyle Kuzma. And it's Kispert in at the small forward position. That's the five on the floor for the Wizards. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. I don't mind it. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. The Wizards with a lead. Morris outside. Pass to Kuzma. Here's Kispert. Shot clock at six. Back to Kuzma. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Kuzma not only has great skill, but his balance is so good. Even when he gets bumped around, he still finds a way to score. Second, personal foul. Well, the 27th pick in 2017, Kyle Kuzma made first team all-rookie. He was displaying just sort of significantly better shooting in the pros than he did in college at Utah. MP finds Harden. Back to MP. Out to Harris. Pass to Gonzalez. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got six rebounds now in the game. Well, you look at Kuzma's shooting percentage. His rookie season still is most efficient, Greg. Yeah, B.A. I mean, he stayed at about that same level. But as an offensive-minded player, if he can progress a little, that would certainly help his value. And that's good as he hits both shots. 
And the Wizards shooting efficiently, 50% so far. Pass to Kispert. And here's Gafford. And here's Beal. Maxi covering. Kuzma, the pass to Gafford. Here's Kispert. Back to Gafford. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Third and even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the official. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for the Sixers. The Sixers trailing. All right, time for an injury report. All right, let's get an update on Joel Embiid. What's the status, Allie? Hey, guys, the head athletic trainer of the 76ers was able to update me on the situation. Who said the x-ray has confirmed the bad news. It's a broken elbow. Sitting out the rest of this game is a no-brainer. The truth is it could take a long time for this injury to fully heal. Unsettling news, guys. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Gonzalez. And that one's good. MP's got four points this quarter. And so it's Washington with it. The lead is two. Kuzma outside. Here's Morris. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. This first-half performance, somewhat forgettable. But now he's pouring it on. Deadman's checked in for Harrell. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Boy, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. Beal outside. Pass to Kispert. Now Gafford. Kuzma, left side. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Kyle Kuzma is a guy who burst on the scene during his rookie year and is a fun player to watch. He's a guy that really has an outstanding all-around game. That's good from Kuzma. The 76ers making a switch here. House has checked in. Kuzma hits them both. Harden with it. MP, the pass to Harden. And Harden with the slam. Boy, the slam from the beard. Elevating a little bit. James can go from 0 to 100 pretty quick for a guy this size. Beal finds Kuzma. Here's Kispert. To the middle. Out to Beal. Just five on the clock. Releases. Up again. It's good. On the putback. There you go. Relentless pursuit of the ball. I love it. He never stopped working. Inside. Here's Harden. And Harden with the slam. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. And it just forces the defense to pay more attention to him, guys, which we know can open up things for other guys. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. And they got to refocus. Too many careless turnovers will kill your momentum. Porzingis has checked in for Kispert. Reed's checked in for the Sixers. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Wes Unsell Jr. was discussing with his players. He told them this is a game that we can win. It's a game we should win. We've matched those guys step for step. From this point forward, let's try to force them to play at our tempo. And Allie, thanks. Over to the left wing. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Maxi passes to MP. 
Here's Reed. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Daniel Gafford picks one up. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that side. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Taking two shots. That one falls, so he hits both of them. For Washington, they've gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Beal, the pass to Porzingis. He gets it to go again. Nine for 13 so far. I'll tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Let's keep feeding him. Let him eat. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. Up top, Beal. Pass to Gafford. Outside Porzingis. And the Wizards with another three. You know, one of the things I love about Porzingis' game, he's really a terrific catch-and-shoot guy, especially for a seven-footer. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. You know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Philadelphia grabs the miss. MP's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to Reed. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. He's got to play without foul. Paul Reed at the line for two. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. The Wizards have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Some room here for Beal, and another basket for Washington. He's only one for four here in the fourth, but maybe, just maybe, that bucket will ignite his offense. To the paint. Here's Reed. Here's Harden. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. Harden's got 16 points here in the second half. For Washington, they've gotten seven of their first 10 shots to go during this fourth quarter. Harden against Morris. Now here's Gafford. He's guarding closely. 76ers foul. Paul Reed. Third personal foul. 15 foul. No good on that one. Montrez Harrell. He's checked in for, for Philadelphia. Wizards. Daniel Gafford. Had no luck that time either. Montrez Harrell can be so many things for this team. One of the best small ball fives in the NBA. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. But a little more about Montrez Harrell. What an addition he is to any roster club. I agree with the NBA whether he's starting or coming off the bench. Harrell brings great energy and production. A real injection as a spark plug. Kuzma outside. Beal against Maxi. Morris outside. To the middle. Here's Porzingis. Count it. And it's Morris with the assist. Morris has got assist number eight here already in the game. MP outside. Harden, the pass to MP. Back to Harden. Porzingis against MP. And Gafford with the block. Here's Gonzalez. Great D that time from Porzingis. For Washington, they've gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. Morris outside. Shot from 16. It's hauled in by the Sixers. With the defense absent, that was a great opportunity, but no go. MP finds Harris. Back to MP. Going inside. He's simply just willing himself to the line here. Yeah, too bad he fouled out. But this team does have some depth at his position. He misses the free throw. At the line for the 76ers. Gonzalez. Taking and he can't hit the second. And early in his career, Porzingis was a shot creator. I think he can get back to that, Grant. You know, B.A., yeah. In Dallas, his role was more catch and shoot. So it'll be interesting to see in a different system how active a role KP can fill, especially going to work inside. 
Gonzalez misses. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Morris against Maxi. Let's it go from 11. And that one hits the back iron. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Harden, the pass to Harold. To the inside, Gonzalez. He can't hit that time. Great D that time from Porzingis. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. Beal, the pass to Kuzma. Now here's Beal. Three-pointer. And the three-pointer goes. Beal's got five points in the quarter. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. And Philadelphia calls time here. And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead. The Wizards making a switch here. Gibson's checked in. The Sixers trailing. Pass to Gonzalez. High post Harrell. Working on Gibson. Harrell finds MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. And he brings this game a little closer using a huge one-hand slam. That's a great way to get your team back into it. That might indeed ignite a spark in this team. And here's Gibson. It's Beal on the wing. Three-pointer. Second chance effort. And Porzingis with a layup. Porzingis has got 17 points here in the second half. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. The drive by MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Oh, some slick passing from Harden on that one. Washington has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Beal outside. Back to Morris. Down low. Here's Porzingis. And that comes off the assist by Morris. Morris has got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. The 76ers shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. Porzingis. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Good on the second one. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. Pass to Todd. Here's Beal. And he gets the bucket. Beal's got 21. The consistency of Beal's scoring has been terrific. And of course, his teammates keep working hard to facilitate to him. The Wizards with a lead. Here's Todd. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Montrez Harrell. First free throw is good. And that'll push the lead to double digits. Goodwin's checked in for Washington. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And so here is Philadelphia. Outside Maxi. Pass to Gonzalez. To the paint. And Harris throws it down. Excellent work that time by Tobias Harris doing a nice job in that pick and roll. And Washington with possession. Deal outside. Harris against Kuzma. That one's in there on the nice assist from Beal. Beal's got six assists in the game. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas. Pedal. Good on the bucket. Boy, this is the threat that Harris poses now. He's a scorer from every level. Inside, three-point land, and at the rim. Kuzma outside. Baxi against Beal. Back to Kuzma. Philadelphia grabs the miss. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. 
First personal foul. Good on the first. And that brings him with an eight. At and a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Edmonds checked in for Harrell. House comes in for Tobias Harris. Melton, he's checked in for Maxi. And Milton subbed in for Harden. Outside Davis. Pass to Gibson. Here's Goodwin. Clock at six. 11 feet out. Here's Todd. Gets some space and buries the jumper. And the Wizards lead by nine. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Not by a long shot. It's all but official. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Second personal foul. So the first one drops, and that brings him with an eight. Gonzalez. And both free throws good for MP. Washington with the ball. Here's Goodwin. So we see the Wizards get the win here. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. Yeah, get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game. They overcame everyone. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. We'll see you next time. This is what makes this possible. Please arrive home safely.